Hi everyone and welcome to Wise Eyes. I just want to say that I am so proud of you, Ethan, for following through and getting your eye link procedure. You're adulting, congratulations. Thank you. All right, all right, settle down. You're no fun. Anyway, now that you're an official expert on the eye link procedure, can you walk us through what patients should expect after their procedure? Of course. Oh, uh, I also have some people in our Wise Eyes chat room who may have some questions, so I'll ask those along the way. I'll start us off. What did you do directly after leaving your doctor's office on the day of your appointment? Well, uh, directly after my eye link procedure, I was told to go home and take it easy. And I'm glad that I did because the relaxing medication they gave me made me ready for a nice long nap. When I woke up, I listened to some music as my doctor recommended I not watch TV. Nice. Oh, it looks like we have our first question from the chat. Lactose the intolerant <laughs> asks, how necessary are the UV sunglasses? Mine are broken, but my procedure is tomorrow morning. Do I need to get new ones? Hi, Lactose. Yeah, I would, or I'd borrow some from a friend as your eyes might be more sensitive to light. I even wore mine inside. Rockstar. All right, great question, Lactose the intolerant, and even better username. Oh, next question comes from Amanda. Ethan, be real with me. What did you feel like afterwards? Did it hurt? Uh, honestly, and everyone's different, but for me, I, I didn't feel any pain, per se. A uh, day or so afterwards, I felt a little uncomfortable, but my doctor said I might feel that way, so I wasn't worried. So some discomfort, but Ethan didn't find it to be painful. However, everyone has a different pain tolerance. Thank you for your question, Amanda. Ooh, Fast and the Curious asks, did they give you any pain medication afterwards? Yeah, my doctor prescribed me some pain meds afterwards, just in case, uh, but I never needed them. So, also, you might be able to take some Tylenol, Advil, or over-the-counter ibuprofen as needed. Also, I was prescribed some antibiotic eye drops as a precaution to avoid infection. However, just ask your doctor what's right for you and listen to your body. Follow-up question from Fast and the Curious. What if something goes wrong? Like, what if I trip and fall on my face or step on an upturned rake? Well, the darn rakes always get in the way, huh? <laughs> uh, but seriously, if you experience any severe pain in your eye or sudden decrease in vision, you should contact your doctor immediately. And, uh, I don't know, maybe watch your step. <laughs> Excellent questions. Keep them coming, folks. Oh, Anonymous asks, what's one of the main things to remember after the eye link procedure? Oh, I'm writing an article for our school paper, and I need a quote. Whoa, okay. Pressure's on. Um, I would say the number one thing to remember is to avoid rubbing your eyes. You're given this uh, bandage contact lens on your eye afterwards so the surface layer of your cornea can heal properly and rubbing your eyes can disrupt that, so uh, don't do that. Uh, this is a big one for me because apparently I'm an eye rubber. Uh, that brings up another question. Uh, what if the bandage were to fall out? You should definitely contact your doctor right away. Do not try to put it back in yourself. Do not try to put it back in yourself. Okay, one last question. Oh, Hanging with my nomies asks, uh, I'm reading about some possible side effects that sound a little, uh, well, not good. Haze, inflammation, disruption of surface cells, eye pain, reduced sharpness of vision, blurred vision, and something called ulcerative keratitis, which I guess means infection. Did you experience any of these? No, no means I, I didn't. And I'll just add that these side effects aren't common. However, if any of you experience any of these, please talk to your doctor. Yes, absolutely.